Uh, I've been assigned by my teacher, uh, Taoist master and physician, Dr. Wu Baolin of the White Cloud Monastery, to uh, share some of his teachings. Uh, these teachings come from a culmination of 60 years of clinical experience, practical experience in hospitals, uh, his own clinic, and um, various parts of the world. Um, Dr. Wu has uh, been teaching uh, Taoist uh, practices for nearly 30 years in Santa Monica, California. Uh, his emphasis has been on uh, Qigong, uh, which is kind of a Taoist uh, internal alchemy, internal cultivation, uh, practices that will uh, benefit your health, uh, career, um, you know, positivity and, and good fortune in your life. So he's been sharing this uh, with us in the West for, for quite some time. Um, Dr. Wu has a very unique background. He's a seventh generation uh, medical doctor in China. Uh, he was also raised at the White Cloud Monastery in Beijing, which is the foremost Taoist uh, hub of knowledge in, in China and all of Asia. So he comes with a very, um, very full background and a war chest of uh, things to share and, and for people to use and, and help each other uh, in our daily lives. It's also been published. Uh, currently, there are six books uh, published in the United States under Dr. Baolin Wu. And various subjects, feng shui, uh, qigong, of course, uh, tai chi, Taoist swordplay. Uh, and they all are filled with uh, anecdotal um, histories about China and the traditional culture, which is uh, uh, slowly fading away. So it's his wish that uh, we keep it alive and document it in this way and share with you some things that you can use in your daily life. Uh, he's, what we're going to share with you today is a recipe. Uh, it's quite simple, a recipe. Uh, and it is uh, a dish that you can make on Mondays. So why Monday? Uh, Monday is sort of a vegetarian day in Taoism. And so Monday is the first day. Uh, it is assigned the Qian or heaven trigram of the I Ching. So if you're familiar with the I Ching, you'll know that there are eight trigrams and uh, they consist of three lines, some of them solid, some of them broken, and they make different combinations. So the Qiangua happens to be this one here. It has three solid lines, like so. And this represents heaven, three yang lines, solar lines. So on Mondays, uh, the emphasis is to eat green vegetables. So why green? Uh, also assigned to the Tian trigram is the liver. The liver in Chinese philosophy is green, according to the five elements. So green is also wood, and uh, it also relates to wind. And so by eating things that are green, green vegetables, you will in turn nourish the, the liver and uh, give it some of the essentials that it is missing. Besides trees and vegetation, uh, the liver coincides with springtime. And so on May 21st, 2022, uh, we entered into the Xiaoman or small grain period. So these are part of the 24 seasonal changes of the lunar calendar. And these two weeks are when farmers fertilize their land and fields. And it is when the seeds of summer crops begin to become plump, uh, but are not yet ripe. Before explaining the ingredients of the recipe, uh, I'd like to give a, um, a quick overview of the five elements uh, theory as they uh, relate to the organs of the body. So there are five elements. There are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. So there are also five uh, main organs or yin organs called zong. The five zong are the heart, the stomach, the lungs, the kidneys, and the liver. And so each one is assigned a color. Green, as we know, is the liver. Uh, red is the heart, seems quite obvious, uh, since it pumps uh, the majority or all the blood in the body. Um, 
Yellow is the stomach and spleen. It represents the earth and the field. Um, white belongs to uh, the lungs. And to make a quick note, the lungs are metal. And uh, they also belong to the tiger, and this is a tiger year. So the lungs, uh, it's very important to take good care in the tiger year. Uh, and the other is the kidneys. The kidneys uh, are black. And again, as I said, they are the water element. So then, what do Taoists eat on Mondays? Vegetables, as I said before. And which vegetable do they focus on? That vegetable would be spinach. Very, very high in iron. Um, they combine the spinach with something else, however. Because we're entering into these uh, summer seasons, uh, so before Xiaoman, before the uh, full grain season, was Li Xia. Li Xia started May 5th, and that is considered the start of summer. So although we are still in the spring season, the start of summer has already commenced. There is somewhat of a layover uh, between the seasons that needs to start over, just like if someone is elected to a new office, there is a handover, and in that handover, it primarily starts uh, weeks, sometimes months in advance of actually taking the office. So this is a, a, similar, uh, a similar exchange. So they eat spinach, uh, and that's a very common you know, understanding across uh, Chinese culture and especially Taoist culture. But there are the other schools, there are the uh, complete reality school, which is considered um, uh, the culmination, the, the highest, most uh, complete reality of uh, Taoist understanding. And those masters combine the spinach with pumpkin. Pumpkin is yellow. It is uh, a, a color of the sun. It also represents summer or late summer uh, in some calendars. They also add yellow millet and sesame oil to the recipe. So you can see that there is some color matching involved. Uh, you're matching the yellow of the pumpkin with the yellow of the stomach and the spleen. And so this makes sense uh, when considering it uh, under the magnifying lens of uh, Chinese culture, of Chinese medicine. Now spinach, besides nourishing the liver, also nourishes the lungs. And why is that? As I said earlier, uh, the lungs element is metal. And spinach, as we know, contains a lot of iron, a lot of iron. And so iron is, you know, your basic iron ore, your metal, and that is going to enter into the lungs as well. And so this benefits the lungs greatly. So now you have this springtime, you're combining a spring vegetable, a green vegetable, with somewhat of a summer vegetable or a late fall or a late summer vegetable in pumpkin. And so those two combined with yellow millet, a grain, and sesame oil are what this recipe uh, is going to be about. Why is it so important to catch uh, the season and the recipe? Well, the liver is a very important organ. It uh, controls the emotions. It harbors the blood. It is the largest detoxifying blood organ in the body. And so many of our, you know, functions, bodily functions, rely heavily on the liver. The liver is most important for women. Women's essence originates from the liver. Their menstrual blood is created by the liver. And in Chinese, the menstrual blood is translated as moon essence. So it is not the blood that pumps through our body and nourishes the rest of our cells. It is very unique. And this unique moon essence is what lines the womb and prepares it for reproduction. So it is very unique, it is very special, and it cannot be reproduced by any other part of the body. For men, uh, the most important organ is the uh, kidneys. And the kidneys relate to longevity. And, uh, but the second uh, most important organ for men is the liver. Number one for women is liver. Number two for women is the kidneys. So both of the organs are extremely important.
The dish we're about to uh, talk about uh, has a steamy nature to it. Um, pumpkin tends to retain a lot of heat, stays warm for a very long time, and it creates a lot of steam uh, along with the spinach. And so this steam uh, are like clouds and they cleanse the lungs. Uh, the lungs of the body are considered clouds in Taoism. And when this steam is produced, when this heat is taken in, it has a way of steaming the lungs and cleaning them. Um, and why is this important in 2022? Of course, we're in a global pandemic. And for the last two years, uh, the lungs have been affected uh, you know, across the world. A uh, majority of people have been struck with COVID. Uh, and so COVID-19 is suppresses the lungs first and foremost. Uh, so this dish can help to clear some of those things away. Um, as a side note, it's possible that some of you out there may want to make the dish a little bit healthier. Uh, add more to it, you know, add more protein, for example. Uh, and you may be thinking about tofu. Uh, there's a danger with tofu uh, and spinach. The combination of tofu and spinach uh, can produce kidney stones. And in Chinese culture, you just won't see it. Certainly not with people who have this knowledge. And it's generally across the board, it's avoided. Uh, so be careful at home not to add tofu to this dish. The dish itself is easy to prepare. Pot of water, add the pumpkin, turn it on high with the lid. Once it starts boiling, you can turn uh, the fire down to maybe a medium heat, add the millet, add a touch of oil, cook for a total of 20 minutes, and then add spinach after. Put it on simmer, put the lid on, and uh, after maybe 10 minutes, it should be done. So let's move on to the uh, video portion or the uh, visual portion of this, uh, of this dish. And we'll hit the market and then the kitchen.